Okay, class. Um, it was easier for me to record a video of this instead of explain it to you in on the screen. Um, so hopefully this will help. Um, to create our trifold brochure, okay, our layout in the computer, um, I wanted to just do this kind of little quick demo. Um, you're going to need to get a plain sheet of paper. It's a letter size. So this is like a computer paper that you'll probably get from a printer um, at your home. Or it could be um, the size of a flyer, you know, of like a paper flyer that you get from, I don't know, maybe the junk mail or a, an old piece of mail. Um, if you don't have a printer with just plain paper in it. Um, but what I want you to do is I want you to fold it in thirds. Okay, so to the best of your ability, kind of like split it in threes, okay? And you're going to create a little paper mock-up. So you're gonna fold it down. Mine's not gonna be perfect and it's okay. Yours isn't perfect. But the idea is so you have um, a physical representation of your trifold brochure, okay? And then from those, that little mock-up that you have, um, I want you, and I'm gonna use this because I kind of prepped an example, um, you are going to figure out, you know, how you want it to unfold, right? Because some brochures, they open up this way, you know? Some brochures, they open up kind of like in a, in a roll, or some brochures, they open up like a Z. Okay, so I want you to figure out how you want one, your brochure to open. And then once you figure that out, I want you to get your folded piece of white paper or whatever paper, um, just for your reference, and then you're going to put numbers on the different panels as people will see them, right? So for mine, I want my brochure to open up this way. I want them, you know, here's the, the front and the back. I want them to open it. They want them to see this one first. Then I know that they're gonna probably see this as well, okay? Then I want them to open it up, see that middle panel, and then that this uh, panel on the most right, and then they close it up, and they end with that last panel on the back, right? I'm sure you've seen a brochure, a trifold brochure. Um, and what we're gonna do with these numbers is when you unfold it, right, you're gonna have two sides. As you can see, it's not sequential. Um, but we're going to lay our InDesign layout according, according to these numbers, like the order of these panels. So for your document, once it's done, you can, like, and it actually folds down, it will unfold and reveal the information that you want um, correctly, okay? Um, and I have found this is honestly the most helpful thing students find in this particular project when they're doing a trifold brochure, because the last thing you want is to make a brochure, you know, in the computer, laying out all your panels. And then when you print it, um, the wrong panels like are not next to each other. Okay. So you just need a single sheet of paper. Um, you'll write the numbers of the different panels and how you want it to open. And then um, you can watch the video so I can show you the um, how to set up your InDesign file for this. Um, but you can even sketch on your panel so you have a good kind of reference for the information. All right, so that's it. I just wanted to show you guys that part of 
um, your brochure mock-up in a video because I think that's easier to see than if I explain that to you on the computer. All right, so I will see you in the next video.